Baroness Kayser's review makes for grim reading, and I pay tribute to her for her hard work and her forensic gathering of evidence. Evidence which I think we must remember in this chamber uh, is thanks to many police officers who were brave enough to speak to Baroness Casey in her review. Mr Speaker, next month marks the 30th anniversary of Stephen Lawrence's murder and we have seen from Baroness Casey's review that things have not progressed and we've had review and inquiry after inquiry. Does, the right honourable, does my right honourable friend, the Home Secretary, agree with me that actually time is now ended and we must ensure that the Metropolitan <coughs> Police Service cleans itself up and that uh, the Mayor of London certainly does have a major part to play in ensuring that police officers are held to account. Secretary. My honourable friend is right that discriminatory attitudes and behaviours, whether that's in relation to racism, misogyny or homophobia, have no place in policing. And I was appalled to read the shocking uh, stories within the report. We need to ensure that the police uh, uh, act with the highest levels of honesty and integrity. We have to ensure that standards are improved, that we strengthen vetting, that there is better police training and a more diverse leadership pipeline. All of those measures, uh, supported by the Mayor of London, will bring about real change.